I'm reading from Matthew chapter 26, starting at verse 36. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell to his face on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken away from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Could you men not watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. He then went away a second time and prayed. My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, for the hour is near, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. I cannot imagine what Jesus was going through in those moments. He knew what was ahead. He knew that it was time to take on the sins of us all. He could barely physically handle the sorrow and despair that he felt. He prayed three times to his Father to take away this cup for there to be another way. And it's here that we see the humanity of Jesus. He was God in the flesh, but he was also like you and me. How many times have we questioned God's purpose and plan for our pain? How many times have we asked for another way? Ultimately, Jesus prayed for God's will to be done, not his own. He desired to do the will of his Father, and in doing the will of his Father, he died on the cross and delivered us from our sin. No matter what our sorrow and despair is, as God was with Jesus there in the garden, He is with us in our pain and our struggles. He never leaves us.